Today, we're gonna infect the Twilight Forest with From Another World. I made a data pack that make the Twilight Forest compatible with From Another World, making it possible to infect any living mob. And today, we're gonna infect every boss structure and see if From Another World can defeat these bosses. But before going to the Naga, we're gonna go to the Enchanted Forest and see our good old quest ram and see what's gonna happen if we infect the wildlife around this. Look at this little rabbit turning red. It's so cute. Look at it go with its small tentacles. It's gonna spread everywhere. There we go. Here it begins. The spread has begun. And the quest ram is now infected. Also, did you notice that the grass here makes a circular pattern? And that this guy's tendril follow that pattern. Alright, so the quest ram is finally assimilated. Let's see what we got. We got a prowler. And there's a bunny getting And we can finally infect the Naga courtyard. We're gonna go and infect the mobs around it and let it spread inside. Let's go. We have some wolves here. All right, the tendrils are now scaling the walls, going through, in fact, and getting inside the Naga courtyard. And now this guy, destroying its own terrain, doesn't know a clue what's going on. It's going towards the tendrils. It's gonna step in it. There we go. But it did nothing. Oh, there we go. It got hit by it. But seems like nothing happened. I spoke too soon. Look at it shiver because it's getting assimilated right now. It is. What the heck is going on with it? What the heck? Something is going on. I don't know what, but something is going on. It's turning red. Yep, here we go. Is it... No, it's not done. Wait, what the heck? Is it done now? Yep, no, yep, no, I don't know. Is it done? There we go, now it's done. <laughs> Let's see what this thing gives. Come back here, come back, come back. <laughs> there we go! Oh, wow, the body disappeared. And we have... A beast! The snake finally grew its leg. Alright, moving on to... This thing over there. The Lich Tower. Now the Lich can no longer get damaged by its own explosion, so there's no way for the thing to kill this thing unless we give it a little help. There we go. And now we can infect the bottom of the tower and wait for it to move up. Alright, so it found its way inside through the windows, I guess. Yep, through the windows. And now there's spiders, which means they have something to assimilate inside the tower. Alright, so it has taken over the tower, but nothing is really happening in here. So might as well give the thing a little bit of help. Oh, there we go. It is fighting. The thing wants the glitch dead, but it's only attacking with weak mobs because that's the only thing they have access in here. But there is a head down there. And I guess it's gonna take care. Yep. The Lich can't do anything against the crawler. Oh my god, what the heck. But anyway, let's leave this tower and move on to the Dark Forest. And inside the Dark Forest, there's a dungeon of the Phantom Knight. And we just need to find a boss room now. Which can sometimes be hidden is here. There we go. And there's now six Phantom Knight. So what we can do is infect the resident of this area. Yes, even the armor becomes red, I guess. We also have this Goblin Knight and a few other goblins here. And now the only thing left it has to do is to find a room of the boss and kill them. The Juliet thing has made its way in the last room before the bus. Alright, the Juliet thing found its way in. Yeah, it's fighting right now. More than one has found its way. There's really nothing the Phantom Knight can do. They don't have fire. They don't have acid or radiation. They can't do anything against the thing. They're just gonna die. And oh my god. There we go. That was the last one. The bus has been defeated. The chest is here. Take the loot. And all of the dungeon is now infected with the thing. Holy crap. Look at the number of these crawlers. Of course, right now my tick rate is a hundred times faster than a normal game. It doesn't infect fast as this in your world. But let's get out and let's head towards the Tower of the Urghast. Now, I'm not sure how the thing will attack the Urghast. There's a birdling here that we can infect. All right, so the thing fell down the hole and now it's spreading down there. Look at it. There we go. Now we have this guy's tendrils everywhere on the tower. And it looks like if it's covered in chainmail. It's so weird. Also, did you notice there's a pattern in the grass of this biome? We would never notice without that. Also, the anti-builder in the tower is working. The thing is trying to, like, infect and grow, but the anti-builder destroys it. Also, there's a chance that this thing can step on the pressure plate at the same time that there's the rear gas and- Oh, wait, wait, okay, anyway. Well, it is possible for the air gas to come down at the right time, but unfortunately, I don't want to stay here two and a half million years, so we're gonna move on to the Yeti Cave. And this place will go down extremely fast since all of the mobs inside this cave can be infected, as well as the Alpha Yeti. And also, look 
at that we can see the pattern of the flesh on this yeah we can call it block this mob is just a block i guess if we hit this one yeah there we go we reveal the thing as well as oh my god all of these guys even the alpha yeti and it it became just a small julia thing i wish it would stay the same size like the same head box but it doesn't oh my god what the heck right this place is fully infected and you can see the limitation of the light from outside and yep even the wolves can be assimilated all of this place is now under control control of the thing and it already started to climb the ice wall and we are moving to the aurora palace and this place well it's gonna get the same fate as the last one this place will get fully infected and here we go now like the Ergas tower i feel like there's a chain mail covering this whole building even the inside is fully infected with the tentacles. And I think it's time we pay a visit to our good old friend, the Snow Queen. Sorry, darling. You're gonna go. All right, lady. It's time to go. Say goodbye to those ice block. <laughs> what are you become? A Julia thing. You've lost your color. And now that we're done with the Aurora Palace, it is time to go inside the swamp in the maze of the Minotaur. We're gonna infect the outside and let the thing come inside. And we're gonna try to find something to infect. I think this fire beetle can be infected. Yep, the Minotaurs. There we go. And we're gonna see if the thing can find the entrance to the second level. This is the first entrance and the second level is over here. So let's wait and see if it can find it. All right, it's been a while and look at that. It found its way and is now falling down in the second layers where it's gonna find somewhere in there the Mino Shroom. So we just gotta be patient again and see if it can reach here. All right, it is almost there. You can see the infection is slowly creeping its way towards this place. It is here, but it's blocked by wood fence. So now all they need to do is find a way to get inside the Mino Shroom's room. If they're intelligent enough, they're gonna build a tunnel that goes right inside the Mino Shroom's room. Wait, their weakness will find their way in. The fire will spread up to the fence, burn the fence, and make an opening for the thing to come in. There it is. It's on fire. And there's a hole. So all it needs now is to come inside. But the fire will prevent it, right? No. Wait. Hold on. There's a crawler that got in. And that crawler is going straight for the Minos room. The Minos room is <laughs> running away and there's so many mobs are slagging. There we go. They got it. We can finally quit this hellscape of a nightmare sound that all of these crawler makes. Oh my god. Ah, oh, silence. Oh yeah, we should check what the menu room do before we leave. And it is a, a prowler. There we go. Now let's leave this place. And finally, the place I'm the most excited about. The Hydra's Lair. This place has a lot of fire. This thing spits fire. There's geysers of fire. And fire is the weakness of the thing. So I'm really curious to see how this thing will react. Let's just quickly put a dog beast here and see what happens. He's leaving. <laughs> okay, let's put it closer. Will it attack the Hydra? Oh my god! The Hydra just decimated this dog. But now, from its body, is going to spread the tentacles. And there we go. We don't really see it, but look at that. This thing spread it already everywhere. And the tail, <laughs> the tail is just destroying it as fast as it creates. We just don't see it really. Wait, hold on. Wait. It's shaking. It's being assimilated, but just the body, not the heads. <laughs> Wait, because there's plants below it. The Hydra is assimilated, but it's... What the heck? Oh my god. And it's a beast. Only one small little beast. And that's what happens when the thing converts the Hydra. Also, this place is doomed. Even though there's fire everywhere. Oh yeah, it's gonna spread though. It's gonna be a constant battle between fire and tendrils and now the only place left to infect is the final castle and the clouds with the giants well uh not this one there's no giants this one so let's put a few tendrils everywhere and let it spread while we pay a visit to my giant clones hey there giant carrots how about some infection oh wait what the heck wait the wish wait what what it removes the wispy clouds. Oh, that's so weird. Although it infects the giant blocks normally as if it were blocks. Yep, the giants are transforming. And the cloud will look so weird once it's done. How about the tower? Yep, it's going fast. And we're gonna be back once everything has turned into things. And uh, yeah, somehow it snows at this height. The giant island is now fully covered. There's a Julia thing here. And if I punch this guy, he's gonna transform 
into... Oh my god. Wait. Hold on. The dogs... Wait, why is it a quadruped? Did I mess up the data pack? Wait, hold on. Oh, so the miners are okay, but I think I placed the other one in quadrupeds, but I think it's better. You know what? Since they keep the size, I think it's better to give them quadrupeds than, than humanoids. Oh, that's so epic. It's a giant dog. But anyway, here is the final plateau fully covered in tendrils from top to bottom. They're everywhere, except inside. They didn't find a way to get inside here. I guess this place is really, really well protected. Although this place has a flaw, there's an opening here here and they still manage to get inside here and with tunnels of course they can go everywhere with tunnels but anyway thank you everyone for watching don't forget to subscribe tell me in the comments what you want me to infect next and as always you're awesome and i'll see you in the next one bye bye